Hey everybody, it's Jason Blah here, and once again, it is time for my client Michelle's vlog. And uh, we're still running conjugate for her. We started the week off with an incline bench for her max effort work. Uh, something that came up I thought was interesting in one of my live streams, someone has said, hey, based on something she put on Facebook, is she changing to aesthetics? Like, no, she's still powerlifting. She's got meet scheduled. She's going to be competing again this year. We're doing powerlifting. Now, is some of her diet and things a little bit going to be working somewhat on, on her look? Yes, but that doesn't need to be large changes in training. Um, she is doing more modeling. She's doing a lot more professional modeling gigs, so that's going to be a big part of what she does moving forward. But our training is still powerlifting. Okay, training is powerlifting. As far as some of the stuff with looks and things go, a lot of that is a little more diet oriented anyways. Um, but for powerlifting, we just need to get her thicker in the right places for powerlifting. But funny enough, that doesn't actually negatively impact what she's doing. If anything, it facilitates it. Um, in, in other words, the, the sort of physique that powerlifting training gives women works pretty good for what she's doing. You know, keep in mind anything else around that is going to be nutrition related. Right, as far as is anything with body fat, uh, those things. So, but your context is since we're maximizing things like uh, leg development, glute development, right, hamstrings, all those things, since we're developing all those things maximally for powerlifting, that actually works out really good. So, what are we doing here for uh, max effort day? We did some pause benching, we do some incline benching, we do rows. Hey, we're doing some rows, we do JM presses, and I have her do a little bit of banded press downs. So that's pretty much what we're doing here. Uh, uh, again, it's pretty pretty straightforward right now. Her supplemental work is geared towards where her weak links are other than the JM presses, but she's also messing with some close grip now. We haven't decided if we're going to close grip or not at her next meet. We're going to base it up on how strong she is at the different angles. We're going to develop everything. Right, we're going to develop everything and then she'll obviously go wherever she's strongest at. Now, she didn't have bands, so for this workout, she did uh, cable press downs with a rope because no bands were available at the gym she was at temporarily. Uh, she was in another city, and of course, that's all about to change, about to be a big move. So there's going to be a change in her gym scenery as we continue to get her ready for more meats. She's got, she's got more meats coming. You know, we're good there. Uh, for max effort all over, we did a deficit deadlift with a stiff bar. She got 300 pounds here. Um, again, considering it's deficit work and using the stiff bar, we're very, very happy with this. Uh, now, some people may notice she is a little lighter right now. She's lost some weight. Uh, it wasn't even particularly intentional. It's just stuff that happened. Uh, again, she got sick a little bit, had to go to the hospital, lost a little weight, didn't regain it, yet her strength has bounced back. So we're actually stronger now at a lighter body weight, which again leads us to believe that it was body fat loss, right? Because her weight's down, we've regained any lean tissue she would have lost from it, and the scale is still down. So she's clearly lost body fat, uh, but our strength is still good. I mean, 300 deficit deadlift, considering her best pull lever is like 330 with a, with, off the floor with a deadlift bar, we're 10% away from that on a deficit with stiff bar. Okay. Benching is right up there. Um, everything's good. So, uh, again, our strength is back. We're good. And so we're just going to continue this trend. We're going to continue to help her gain muscle. She's going to improve in all ways. She's going to continue to improve as a power lifter, and her physique's going to improve. So here we're doing uh, hip thrusts, right? We do hip thrusts. Then she does split squats, um, although she's rotating some of these in with a little bit more dumbbell work, which, which we talked about in a call, uh, I believe, yesterday. Uh, she called me in the middle of a workout, you know, asking about that. And we, we discussed that, that she wants the extra grip work, so she's like, can I do them with dumbbells? I'm like, of course. Um, so I'm leaving her the option a little bit there, giving her a little wiggle room as far as what she feels she needs for those. And sometimes with my really advanced lifters, I do that sometimes. It's like, look, I give them a little bit of say on some of this stuff. What do you feel is best day to day where you're weakest with these choices of these lifts? You know, if you want to use the dumbbells, go ahead. If you want to use the 
use a safety part, go ahead. Okay. Uh, but we do have a very, very heavy glute focus because again, this is where we know she needs to add muscle a lot to the lower body to continue to reach our strength goals, right? And it's not certainly not going to hurt her modeling career in any way to add more glute. But it's definitely what we have to have for our purposes because as her coach, my primary job is to get her ready for powerlifting meets, right? We care about the other, but again, I've got to get her ready. It just happens to, to be that, again, powerlifting training tends to do quite well for women in regards to that sort of career. It's a good compliment. Again, mainly because there's, there's just so much glute work and leg work and hamstring work and, and all of those things. It's very beneficial. So uh, after the split squats, we, of course, do glute ham raises. Uh, we do reverse hyperextensions, which, again, these are some of my bread and butter lifts. I think everybody knows how I feel about these lifts. I'm an enormous fan, All right? Enormous fan. In fact, the only major lift that I happen to be one of the just all-time fans of that I really don't have her do much anymore is Good Mornings. And it's because she likes some of these other things. She gets a lot out of hip thrust, so I'm having her do those. Whereas in that same slot, I, I might throw in a Good Morning. But it's something we talked about for her specifically. She's always got good carryover out of it. So we elected to do that based upon her own experience there. Uh, again, this is, this is where with coaching we have to look at those things as the individual. But, you know, I'm more than happy to eventually rotate those back out for some good mornings, depending upon what bar she has access to. Again, she's about to change gyms, about to change all these things, um, kind of a new chapter in her life. So we'll assess all that stuff based upon on what we have available moving forward. Fortunately, we should have a lot of this other stuff that we need, glute ham raises, reverse hypers. Uh, these are staples, absolutely staples. Uh, I don't want these out of her training if, if possible. So up next, we have our dynamic days. And I really only included the speed work because again, this vlog is gonna run a little long. Supplemental work is pretty similar to her other days, although she did some split squats with dumbbells and things. Speed bench, we do speed bench with bands right now. She doesn't have bands coming up. We may, we may do these with straight weight. So we do three sets wide, three sets medium, and three sets close. And we do supplemental work. Dynamic lower day, we do speed boxes with bands and a safety bar. That's what we're doing at the moment. Actually, she's got a straight bar right now. That's right, we're back over to the straight bar. Um, and again, where we rotate this around a little bit. So we do these, we do speed conventional pulls against bands, then we do supplemental work and we call it a week, right? So very, very good productive training week. So I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.